Mark's Gospel chapter 1 Jesus went into the house of the mother-in-law of Peter for some people the food will be more tasty in the house of their mother-in-law than in their mother because maybe they eat and eat and they got used to is it true Tony? Huh? praise the Lord they forget the love of the mother and they get used to the new food, new taste of mother-in-law. And that's what happened to Peter. So Peter was little extra energy that day. Uh, so mother-in-law was sick, he is called. And not only he, so many disciples went and told Peter's mother-in-law is sick. Peter, are one fellow said he is not enough. Everybody goes and says Peter's mother-in-law is sick. So Jesus came and healed that mother-in-law. Mother-in-law caught up and served them. And when people came to know the town of Capernaum, all the people came. The whole town came to the house of Peter. And Jesus was so patient enough to heal everybody, cast out every evil spirit. And it became very tired, very late. And everyone went away to sleep. At the end, Jesus was tired. He also went to sleep. But then, if we allow the flesh to rule us, it will kill the spirit. Whatever may be the condition of the flesh, that is not, that is not, should be the reason to not to feed your spirit. The spirit has to be constantly taken care with vigilance, with great care. No, I came tired, my body is weak, so let me sleep. Let I am not able to get up to do the work of my God. No. Body can take in care. But if you lose the spirit, that is the end. That's why the book of wisdom of Solomon chapter 9 verse 15 says, If you are not alert, the flesh will pull down your soul to the mud. And everyone were affected with their flesh. They were all tired. They are all sleeping. But Jesus knew he was tired. Yes. He did not have enough sleep. It's true. But he knew first preference had to be given to the first. Otherwise, the second will take the place of the first. If I don't take care, feed the spirit to build up the spiritual phenomena of my life, my physical phenomena will take the center stage, the first place of my life. Everybody is tired. But very few are conscious of keeping alive their spiritual stamina spiritual presence of the Lord so early morning even before the dawn Jesus got up and went to pray to be with the father everybody worked some the disciples they were victim to their own sleep Sleep is one of the ways through which evil will come into the laziness, will tie up your life and take away, steal away everything God has kept for you. And Peter suddenly wakes up because so many people have come. Last night all those who went and healed went and told. Night, night. So early morning, full rush. Peter's house, there is no place. It is becoming very famous. So everybody is looking. 
Peter never recognized Jesus in him. He never got up and said, In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, go evil spirit. No. Because he had given time for his flesh. He also just got up from sleep. How can he recognize the voice of God? So everyone is searching for Jesus. And when they found Jesus, he was on the mountain praying. Peter said, when did you come here? We are all searching for you. You. You are become very famous. Thousands of people are waiting. Come. Jesus says, my father tells me, I have to go to another place. Peter says, it's not my house, my mother-in-law's house. To make mother it's so okay, angry. Mother-in-law gets angry means... Uh, so please come. Jesus said, get lost. I have heard my father. And I will go there. Jesus, what are you talking? Here thousands of people are waiting for you. Now you are saying you have to go somewhere where you do not know where to go. How many people are going to wait for you? Here everything is ready made. Thousands. Please come. Get lost. If you want to follow, otherwise be with your mother-in-law. Goodbye. <laughs> Jesus went away. Close your eyes for a minute. Do you know you have something? Unless you recognize the one, the treasure that is in you, you cannot follow him. Many treasures are in the world. But what the Lord who has become the treasure for you is uncomparable with any of these perishing treasures that you who want to do the work of salvation have to recognize it. Nice. Ask the Lord for that grace. My dear friends, Sangamam Plus TV is God's gift for you for our times. Like, comment, share and subscribe. God will do wonders in your life. Praise the Lord.